What's up everyone? This is Adam for RealHomeRecording.com. I want to talk about the difference between 24-bit audio and 16-bit audio. There's been so much confusion going on in the little uh, Pono Music Player debate that was going on last week. And I need to clear up something because it bothers me that people are equating audio resolution with image resolution. It's not the same thing at all. No, no, no. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these tracks. I have uh, some HD audio sampler pack, HD tracks, audio sampler pack. Now, this is tw from 2013, um, but you can try these with a 2014 sampler as well. And I'm going to drop these tracks into Reaper right here. All right. Separate tracks. Now, first of all, I want you to notice these waveforms. Notice how they're not slamming like most modern music, except for maybe that one right there. But these tracks, if you blow them up to a larger size, have a lot of dynamics in them. See? Looks pretty nice, right? Okay. Back to the point of this video. So right now my project is, is at 24 bit, 96 kilohertz. And what I want to do is simply batch these files. I'm going to drop them in a folder called 16 bit. Right now there's nothing in this folder. But I'm going to take these files, put them in the batch converter. And then I'm going to change the, uh, it'll have the uh, suffix 16 bit. I'm going to convert it to a 16 bit wave file and do a dither with noise shaping. Everything else is going to be the same. So these files will be 16 bit, 96 kilohertz files. Oh, and by the way, um, let me convert these. And while they're converting, I'm going to show you guys the source properties for all these files. And they'll show it'll show you in sequence. I'll hit OK. So as we can see right here, 96 kilohertz, 24 bit. Close it. Next one. Yup. 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 It's just just to show you, these are all 96 legitimate 96 kilohertz, 24 bit files. And this is still going. And what I'm going to do is called a polarity reversal test. The idea is that. The difference between two files is heard when you flip their phase, when you flip their polarity. And uh, it's a way to show a scientific difference because really showing a subjective difference is not good enough. Our ears, our brains have something called a placebo effect where we will think something actually sounds or looks better than it does because we are told that. We put a higher value on things with bigger numbers. And um, it, it, it's, a re, it's a real thing. Okay, so these files are generated now in the 16-bit folder. And I'm going to drop them individually. Actually, what I got to do is make a new track under this. Uh, best thing to do. So I'm going to make a new track under each of these. There might be a faster way to do this, but I don't really know. I'm going to do it how I know how to do it. And go back to here. I know I messed the name of the track up by doing that, but oh well. And then actually two more. I don't want to cut away from here because if I do, then you guys are going to be like, uh, you, you know, didn't, didn't do it properly. Well, yes, I did. So actually what I'm going to do right now is select all these tracks and right click and do source properties to show you every single one back to back 
is what they say they are. So here we go. Uh, tw- again, we're looking at the bit slash sample and the sample rate. And I'm just going to hit close as we go down the list. Yeah, this is how I spend my Saturday nights analyzing 24 bit to 16 bit audio. What a loser, right? <laughs> Oh, man, I got to get out of the house. So, we have all our files. Now, I'm going to do this. All the 16-bit ones are going to be uh, polarity reversed. It's this button right here. Phase normal. And now it is phase inverted. So, Okay, again, the idea, if I were to duplicate this track right now by selecting it, going to track, hitting duplicate tracks, and if I phase reverse this file and solo these two, watch down here on the meter, nothing, infinity, they cancel each other out perfectly. That's because they are the exact same file. Now, when I delete this track so that I can hear these two files, here's what happens. So we have a negative 82, negative 83 decibel difference, which is really, really quiet. We can't even hear it right now at normal levels. So what I'm going to do with this plugin, this is called Free G Stereo. The trim is all the way up. The slider's all the way up. I still can't hear it. Maybe, you know, if I turn my speakers up, I could, but... That's the difference between 24-bit and 16-bit. That noise, which is the dither noise. That's it. There's no resolution where it's wider or the, the channels are, are deeper or, or whatever other marketing type of language you can use. That's the difference. That noise, 83 decibels, quieter than the loudest peak in the song. And you can do this for every track here. So, taking away those solos, doing these. Again, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to turn the plugin off. 83 decibels. Let's see what happens here. And again, going down the line. The noise floor of 16-bit theoretically is negative 96 decibels full scale. That is, I believe, about 30 decibels quieter than the best vinyl out there. The best vinyl is usually around negative 60 decibels of noise. The noise floor of tape is usually around negative 60. Now, with uh, certain technologies, it can be lower. But the, uh, the noise floor for most rooms... Well, let me be quiet for a second, and we can hear it. Now, of course, you're going to hear my computer, but uh, most rooms are louder than CD's noise floor. 16-bit is CD quality. Again, let me just keep going down the line to show you guys that it doesn't matter what track we have. That's it. That's the only difference. That dither is all we're hearing. By the way, 24 bits theoretical noise floor is negative 144 decibels. That's only theoretical because the best digital to analog, con- I'm sorry, the best analog to digital converters are at negative 135 approximately. So there's still no hardware out there 
that can capture that. And by the way, once you add a preamp into the uh, circuitry and you add an equalizer, you add all these other things, electronic noise builds up. Yeah. Like I said, your room's airflow is probably louder than CD, than, than the noise floor of CD. You know, the, the air c- coming out of the vents, the noise of your clock is louder than CD. Like I always say, CD, negative 96 decibels when you are listening to a CD at a nominal level, even at a loud level, the, the noise floor of CD is like a cricket farting. It's that quiet. I'll just do these last two tracks just for craps and giggles. I'm trying to cuss less, by the way. Um, so yeah, here we go. Again, I just clicked that meter so it's back to negative infinity. And we have... Oh, that's right. I got <laughs> I forgot the plugin was on. Okay, plugins off. Negative 83 decibels of noise. I can hear it about there where I have my speakers. Oh, by the way, speakers. When you turn your speakers up loud, I, I'll do it right now on my end. As soon as I turn my speakers up really, really loud, I'm hearing the hiss of the speakers. Now, if you have better gear than me, there won't be noise. But the point is, the noise has to be boosted. Let's see, 36, 18, that gives us 54 decibels plus about 9. So 61 decibels of boost to just start hearing the noise, just to start hearing it. And by the way, that noise is covered up by the music. So anybody who's out there saying 24-bit audio is better, by the way, here's the one thing I do want to do. This is the kind of one, one of the other points of this video. It's not to just go on and on about this. I want to show you guys the difference in file size between a 24-bit file and a 16-bit file. So what I'm going to do is, okay, so this is 16-bit. I'm going to drop this into here and change this to FLAC. And that to 16-bit, slowest, so the compression is the most it can be. This is why the whole like Pono and HD track thing is ridiculous. Because we can be saving so much file space, it's not funny. Um, by the way, as far as sampling rate, I think 48 kilohertz is pretty much the ideal delivery sample rate. Now, when mixing, I do like to, to do it at higher sampling rates because of what sof- software developers have told me personally. And from what I've read from them, higher sample rates are nicer for in-the-box mixing. Okay, so I'm going to drop this. I'm sorry. Again, the same song, but 24-bit. And I'll change this to 24 bit, change this to 24 flak for the suffix of the file. Or really the end of the name. And uh, I want to show you guys, you're, you're going to be blown away by the difference in the file size. I mean, again, the only difference is that noise, that, that negative 83 decibels of noise that is obscured by the music I mean if I would have if if I were to play back this file you know take one of these off just have that 61 decibels of boost 61 decibels uh, okay, that that is 10 times louder than what it should be 10 times louder it's loud 
That's really loud. Okay, so these files are done. They're both in the 16-bit folder, and here we go. Okay, so 16 FLAC, as you guys can see, the 16-bit version is 48.5 megabit, megabits, and the 24-bit version is 94.5 megabits. And comparing that to the uncompressed file, the uncompressed file is 141 megabits. So yeah, the 24-bit is less, but does that quality difference, is that quality difference worth it? You know, I, I would rather have double the space if, if you ask me. So anyway, guys, I hope you learned something from this video. We need to stop it with this 24-bit delivery format nonsense. It really... <laughs> Again, we're not play, we're not recording crickets farting and, and expecting to play that back. Um, by the way, a cricket fart would be obscured by the other crickets chirping, but that's neither here nor there. I just uh, I just think this is this is all insanity and um, sampling rate. By the way, the difference between that and that, uh, especially like I said, I think the, the ideal delivery format to me. Delivery, not recording, mixing, and mastering, but the delivery format that is the end-all, be-all. We don't really need it any higher quality. 16-bit, 48 kilohertz, loss, uh, losslessly compressed. That's it. We can stop this debate now. We're not mixing and delivering for cats and bats and, and, and dogs. No. No, we're not. So, okay, this is, this is it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to go do something productive and, and not, you know, <laughs> spend my Saturday night in front of a computer. Anyway, this has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.